Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. In this course, I will be teaching you everything you need to know to get started writing C++ programs. In addition, you can start building a C++ programming career from this playlist. C++ is most popular language around the globe. It's a great language and it's actually very closely related to C programming language. Basically, C++ it's an next level of C programming language. So, if you are already familiar with C programming language, you will not have any difficulty learning it. And this playlist is for object oriented programming using C++ course. The syllabus was drawn from the VTU University syllabus. So, before we move forward, Please subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade and press the bell icon so you won't miss any future update related to this C++ playlist. So let's begin. Now the first question, when was C++ developed? So C++ is a high level computer programming language developed by Borna Stratostrup of Bell Laboratories in the early 1980s. It is based on the traditional C language but with added object oriented programming and other capabilities. So C++ is a great first programming language to learn and in this playlist I will teach you all concepts related to C++ in very detail. So we will just start with the basics like what is C++, its uses and then we will move on the editor, what is text editor, what is compiler and how to install it. After that we will writing out our very first program after installation of IDE. After this we will go little advanced with the topic variables, data types and many more. Then we will see the things in very detail about structure, loops, conditional statement etc. So let's start. So what is actually a C++ programming language? C++ is a general purpose object oriented programming language and it is the best language for creating large scale applications. The C++ programming language is a specialized version of the C language. As I already mentioned, C++ is a general purpose, right? So what do you mean by general purpose? So basically, a general purpose language is a computer language that can be used in a wide range of applications and will not have any special characteristics for a specific domain. In very simple language, we can say using C++, we are able to design different types of softwares. That's why C++ is called as a general purpose programming language. Now, I will show you what kind of softwares we can create with C++. Using C++, we are able to design operating system. For example, DOS, Linux, Windows, these are some kind of operating system. Using C++, we are able to design editors. Now, what is an editor? Editor or text editors are used to create and edit text files. In the field of programming, the term editor usually refers to source code editor that include many special features for writing and editing code. Using C++, we are able to design computer and mobile games. Now there is question like C programming or C++, which is the best for building games or developing the games, right? So both C++ and C programming can be used to create games. However, C++ has better control hardware on the PC or server. Therefore, it is usually a more suitable language or C++ is more preferable language for game development. Using C++, we are also able to design databases like Oracle, SQL servers, MySQL. These are some example of database. Now, what is meant by database? Database is a data structure that stores organized information. So these are some few applications of C++. There is a major benefit of using C++ programming is that C++ program are easily maintainable and expandable. In other words, when a new feature needs to be get implemented, it is very easy to add to the existing structure of an object. It is very easy to do these things in C++. It is expected that C++ will replace C as the general purpose language in near future. It's going to be get amazing with C++ programming. I am also very excited to bring you guys for C++ tutorials and developing programs in C++ is a very great experience. Also for our valuable viewers, we are providing offline and online training with certified courses on C++, Python, C, Java, automation testing, manual testing, SQL and much more. For joining our courses, you can contact us by email and mobile number. The details are given in the description and also in the about section. 
so that's all about c plus plus guys in the next video we will see some basics of c plus plus in very detail if you have any doubt regarding anything for example course or any c plus plus introduction just mention it in the comment section we will glad to reply you there and thank you for watching this video this is saurabh see you in the next one stay tuned